And uh, as a satellite center, we are, of course, involved in all major space and security-related development in this kind of initiative. So now, dual use, dual use uh, started as a, as, a, as a market need, then maybe it turned into an opportunity. Dual use for us is now perceived as a kind of strategic must. Because we believe that not only economically, but also politically, there is no other way ahead but to cooperation for a European Union having ambition of global play. So as I said, developments, two uh, programs in which developments are uh, um, going operational are Copernicus and Space Situation Awareness. The satellite center is involved in both of them. Copernicus is the form of global monitoring and for environment and security. And it's a program aimed at providing the European Union with the um, a global uh, capacity of Earth observation. And we are there playing a role not only of provider, but also of service coordinator coordinator of all the uh, uh, service suppliers. SSA, Space Situation Awareness, is in EU articulated into three uh, pillars, near-Earth objects, space weather, and space surveillance and tracking. And tracking. Uh, um, currently, the uh, satellite center is involved in the third pillar. I will put you now a video on SSA.
So, uh, space situational awareness, a critical domain on which now uh, uh, five member states have decided to create a consortium for pooling and sharing their uh, capabilities, and the Satellite Center will act as facilitator and coordinator inside this consortium. Uh, yes, so some recent news. Um, during the European Council of more than one hour ago, uh, the, the, the following major political uh, decisions were taken. First of all, uh, the common security and defense policy will continue to develop in full complementarity with NATO. Three mm, priority actions were defined, uh, increasing effectiveness, visibility, and impact of the common security and defense policy of the European Union enhancing the development of capabilities and strengthening the European defense industry. Concerning satellite communication, the preparation for the next generation of governmental satellite communication through close cooperation between the member states, the Commission, and the European Space, space Agency should start, and the development at the same time of remotely piloted aircraft systems. In two in these two domains, the Satellite Center will play a role as, um, um, in defining requirements for both secure transmission and sharing of geospatial intelligence and setting up an intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance system. Start of state of play on, on SATCOM, we have the typical three layers of MIL, SATCOM, governmental and commercial. So cooperation will start at level of um, governmental and uh, the member states will maintain their sovereignty on hardened MIL, SATCOM. In this activity, uh, the European Defence Agency and the European Commission shall deliver by mid-2015 uh, a joint roadmap for the next generation of governmental telecommunication capacity. They will start with the collection of user needs. In this particular activity, the European Defence Agency will take care uh, of the requirements coming from the Ministry of Defence of uh, Member States while the European Commission will launch a, stu a study focusing on the, uh, the uh, civilian needs. I think that's all for my presentation. Thank you.